the Locato loop station and connecting it with a Mac. This is a very short video and it's just an update on a review I did a few months ago on the Locato loop station. And somebody put in the comments that they'd had a problem connecting it with a Mac. Now, at the time, I didn't have any such problem. However, my Mac hung up two minutes into a major update and I had to reinstall the whole thing. And after I did, when I plugged the loop station in, it did exactly what had been described to me. The answer is very simple. However, it was really hard to find. So I thought I'll make a video and then it's easier than responding to people's comments. And this is the problem. If you plug your Locato loop station into your Mac, it doesn't show up. It doesn't show up as an extra drive or anything. So you can't copy files to it and copy files off it. But all you need is a free piece of software called Cube Suite. And it's got two major functions. One is to update the firmware, which there aren't any updates available at the moment. And the second is to manage your looper. To find this software, you simply go to qcave.com forward slash download and you'll find it at the bottom of the page. I've put the link in the description. Once you've downloaded it, you don't need to install the file. You just need to uncompress it from the folder to wherever you'd like to keep it. I'm just putting it on the desktop here. And it's very simple to use. When you start it up, you simply click on the looper edit. And in the looper edit, you'll see song one, two, three, etc., all the way up to nine, which is all your loops. And then there's just three buttons down the right hand side of the screen. And they're pretty obvious. But remember, these buttons aren't talking about your PC, they're talking about the looper pedal. So when it says export, it means export from the looper pedal to the PC. And when it says to import, it means to import from the PC to the looper pedal. You can see here, I've just exported song one from the pedal to my PC. Admittedly, this isn't the best piece of software I've ever used. And sometimes when I start it up, it comes up with an error. If I just click OK, it seems to work fine. However, it's the only way of managing your loop pedal using your Mac. So at least it's free, eh? Just to show you how easy it is to use, I've just deleted the song one from the pedal and now the pedal's completely reset. But in complete honesty, it would have been probably a lot easier just to do it directly from the pedal. But it's nice to have these features. I do realise that this video is probably only going to be useful to about 10 people in the world. But it's the shortest video I've ever done. And if you did find it useful, please like and subscribe and then you'll be notified when I upload new videos. And thank you very much for watching.